Oh, Cape St. Francis. Finding Cape St. Francis, you know, riding it. It was a whole experience. How did you know it was there, Mike? Or how did you suspect it was there? Well, you know, I, I tell it in the book, but the whole story is, um, when we went on the trip, we knew there was a seven mile point mm -hmm. somewhere in South Africa. That's where we were heading. And um, so all these other sort of spots were just basically just, uh, you know, time out for uh, just before we got to Cape St. Francis. But anyway, we got there. I mean, I was really anticipating this because it was a right break, a right point, seven miles. So we had no idea what we were going to find. But so we got there and uh, Bruce and Robert slept until about nine o'clock that next morning. I was up at five o'clock when the sun came up and went, went to the beach and it was like a 14 foot tide and it was real uh, low tide. But it was offshore and, you know, and, and it looked like Newport Beach, mm -hmm. about three or four feet, but some left. <laughs> so um, I really didn't care. I didn't see it, you know, I looked up the point, but we were right down at the basin of it at this camp. And um, so finally when, finally when I got Robert and Bruce up, because we've been traveling a lot, and uh, I got them down to the beach. The tide had changed, like, um, you know, half of, half it's coming in. So it was really, you know, it's like 14 foot tide. So it was, you know, like a quarter of a mile or something like that. And um, I started noticing this break down the, towards the point. But we, we, we looked at it, and I always see the backside of it. And there were swells going by us and going into this cove. Every time I try to get Bruce to, or Robert to look at it, they go like this and miss it. They did that about three times. But I, I, I guarantee we were sick of each other by this time, you know what I mean? We've been traveling for a long time. And I, I, I can irritate people <laughs> to a point. <laughs> And so I was real persistent, you know? And, and um, Bruce got pissed at me. And, and I, was <laughs> I was smoking pot on the trip, you know? <laughs> and so I would get, I'd get wild. I mean, you know, it was amazing. It really made me creative. Uh, I'd go off by myself and stuff. And so I thought Bruce, you know, knew that I was, but didn't want to say anything about it. So he's getting disgusted with me, you know? And I know that sign with Bruce when he gets disgusted with me, because it happened quite a few times. And um, then I looked, I saw it again, the break, saw, I saw three or four waves, and I just went, God damn. And this, this uh, place in front of us was still surfable. Robert was, you know, going out. He, you know, he couldn't wait for the, you know, the, the, the queue to go out, you know? And, uh, I just told Bruce, I said, Bruce, take you and Robert and your fucking movie and shove it. I'm going down there. And so I picked up my board and went down. As I'm walking about, you know, it's like down this point and around this cove. And uh, I look back, those guys are sitting on the edge of the water, all just standing there. <laughs> Robert, Bruce, and Terrence, and that kid. And uh, I went up to this sort of spot, looked at it, it was just, oh, these little tubes, you know, in three or four ways at a time. I just went, Jesus. So I paddled out there. You know, this is shark infested water, too. So I'm, you know, I hesitated, going, nah, I'm all by myself. What the fuck? I paddled out. And uh, the first wave I took off on. I turned, you know, as I took off the wave, I looked down, I saw those guys way down the point and just went down this ride and watched them this whole time as I just went riding down this way for about a hundred yards. And then I looked back and there's more sets that I kicked out. 
And so I'm paddling back out like this. And, and uh, I look back and Robert and Bruce and Terrence, they're all running down the beach. They finally get to where, where I was. By that time, I'd already caught three or four waves. And I was just laughing. I was having the greatest time. I mean, I was in heaven. And uh, Robert pals out. Well, the, pl the thing, tide was coming in. So, and it was tide coming in fast. And so I realized, I could tell, you know, that it was getting slower, you know, and it was getting mushier. And so Robert and I caught a bunch of waves. And then one time, um, Robert lost his board. And, you know, we usually help each other, right? So I just went in, got his board, went into the beach, told Bruce, Bruce, you've got to try this. So it gave him Robert's board and said, go out there and ride this. And he did, and I filmed it. You can see on the, in the summer of Bruce, you know, I filmed it. And, and uh, I just wanted him to feel it, you know. And uh, that was about it. <laughs> that was the perfect wave.